Israeli general says 11-day Gaza war just first stage of wider campaign. After the Second Intifada uprising and the 2006 election victory of Hamas in Gaza, Israel was forced to pull all its settlers out of the Gaza Strip, at which time it imposed a cordon sanitaire around the territory that has dramatically impacted access to basic necessities by its more than 2 million Palestinian inhabitants. During an interview with Israel's Channel 13 on Thursday, Major General Eliezer Toledano, head of the Israel Defense Forces Southern Command, said that the IDF limited its recent war in Gaza due to civilian pressure on the home front, but noted the military is totally prepared to continue if necessary. The operation ended, or at least its first stage did. The next stage will happen if we see that the security situation has changed, Toledano said, according to the Times of Israel. That first stage involved roughly 1,500 airstrikes on targets in the Gaza Strip, which the IDF said targeted members of Hamas and the group's facilities. The group's militant wing, the Is Ad Din Al Qassam Brigades, fired more than 4,300 rockets and mortars at Israel during the 11 day war. While most of Hamas projectiles were intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome air defense system, Gaza has few air defenses and the bombs fell on apartment buildings in the densely populated city, dying 254 people, 80 of whom were militants, according to local health officials in Hamas. In Israel, 12 civilians were dead by Hamas rockets. Toledano said the IDF tried to make the most of the conflict while public opinion in Israel was on their side. We don't have operations like this every week or every month because we understand the burden that this puts on civilians, especially on the home front. And therefore when we launched this operation, we had to make the most of it, he said, adding that, these wars are complicated in terms of the rockets. We are totally prepared to continue from the 11th day, with the 12th day, with the 13th day. It's all contingent upon the security situation, he continued. If we succeeded with this first stage, that's great. If we didn't, we'll have to continue. Israel's previous major military operations in Gaza, in 2009 and 2014, each lasted several weeks and killed thousands of people, the vast majority of them Palestinians in Gaza, but also saw significantly increased numbers of Israeli civilians dead and injured as well.